What's up everyone and welcome back to Snack Time. My name is Ben and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Check. Check is a browser extension uh, written by Kelvin over at CyberDrain and its main purpose is to detect and prevent token theft servers from stealing your tokens from uh, specifically I believe for Microsoft 365. I don't know if it's for others. I'm pretty sure that 365 is the is the biggest one that it's going after though. So let's do this. Uh, let's take a look at uh, what a token theft would look like uh, using Evil Jinx. So on the left hand side, we have Douglas here. He was uh, sent this lovely email from Roy. And when he opens this the document up, it's basically going to try to trick them into clicking a URL. All right, let's go ahead and fire up Evil Jinx on the right hand side. We're going to pretend that uh, we are the evil threat actor that is hell bent on stealing some tokens. So I'm going to go ahead and show the URL that we're going to use. We're going to be using this guy. I'm going to go ahead and copy him, but not by right clicking. <laughs> All right, I'm going to right click there. All right. And so if we go to the browser, let's pretend that he did click on this link. And on the right hand side, we are um, you can see some activity happening over here. And on the left hand side, we see that the the sign in page, the animation is all loading uh, in order to trick Cord Douglas into signing in. But you'll notice one thing. If you look at the top here, the URL is not a Microsoft one. It looks like Microsoft, but it's Microsoft.uk with a zero and an L thrown in there for good measure. Uh, this is designed and is going to work. Uh, it's going to intercept the tokens, steal the credentials, and is going to work just perfectly fine. But let's do this. Let's retry that. Let's try to go to this URL. But let's instead, let's go ahead and load up the, the check uh, browser plugin. So if you go to this website here, so this website's pretty cool. We has a couple of options here. Uh, we have the, you know, how to deploy it. We have some instructions there on how to get that out pretty quick. We also have the detection rules that they're using, uh, activity log. And uh, one thing that I think is super cool is branding. So if you wanted to add your logo, your information to this browser plugin, it's easy enough to do by following his instructions here. Uh, so if you are a, a, a service provider you may want to roll this out maybe with your logo instead of uh instead of the uh, the check one probably your call let's go ahead and just install it straight from the uh the chrome store so i'm going to hit install with chrome we do have edge that we could have used but i'm running chrome and let's go ahead and add this and add the extension all right so we have this all loaded and if we uh, go ahead and pin this guy uh not too many options here. Let's zoom in a little bit and see what we got. Uh, so we have a little bit of configuration that we can do. Uh, we have enable SIP reporting. Uh, we have some detection rules. Here's what's going on here. Here's how we're detecting it. Activity logs. Uh, we have our branding option. I'm going to change the, the color around a little bit. And then we have our about section. Not a ton of things and dark and white mode. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and let's pretend yet again that we are Douglas and we are going to click on this bad URL. I'm going to go ahead and just copy the URL again. And let's paste this in here. Pretend that he clicked on it. And here we go. So we can see that this is uh, this is a very uh, semi new domain that I register personally uh, that is not really out there being used to actually fish anybody. It's just for educational purposes. But uh, this plugin has has done its job. It has basically a low legitimately uh, uh, low legitimacy score, <laughs> a negative 22 out of five, out of 85. And uh, yeah, so we also have some technical details that we can pull up here. And these are all different uh, detection rules that were uh, that were basically put in place to to find and detect even, you know, like Evil Jinx software that is just, you know, freshly out there from, you know, with a new domain. So it's not 
it doesn't rely on domain reputation or IP address reputation, which I think is incredible. Uh, so this essentially would have protected the user from getting their token stolen, um, just from a simple browser plugin that is very, very low resource and very effective. Uh, so that's really what I wanted to show you guys. I know this was a quick one, but I think uh, Kelvin and, and his team over there deserve some recognition for putting so much time and effort into a plugin that they're literally giving out for free and will be effective and at least giving you some a little bit of protection against token theft. Obviously, when you're dealing with security, always good to layer these sort of protections, conditional access policy, log management, browser plugins, all good things to put in place that will hopefully uh, protect your clients, your employees, your friends, your family from getting their tokens stolen and, and essentially uh, what could usually end up costing you know businesses and individuals hundreds of thousands of dollars but well, i hope you found this beneficial if you have any questions uh please leave them down below and if you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up maybe consider subscribing um or just you know put down in the comment section what you liked what you didn't like and uh maybe your experience with chat all right you guys take it easy hope you have a good one take care